To be in with a chance of winning this Resurrectionist emblem, simply drop a like on the video and tell me in that comment section what you're most looking forward to from the Age of Triumph. What's going on guys? Today I bring you another Destiny video, so let's get into it, okay? So today we're going to cover all the major points from the latest weekly update, so let's start. And quote indeed right here, from one weekly reset to the next, Destiny is about to become a more rewarding experience. Rewarding as heck is what the design team have been saying. That's not a direct quote, but this is a family friendly blog. Check out what we have in store for you on March 28th. The new weekly featured activities will include various ways to play, become more powerful and decorate your guardian. All you strikers out there are about to shed more light on the scene than you ever have. Age of Triumph begins with a quest held by the speaker. The directory will feature a new set of weekly featured activities. Daybreak strikes include the Mayhem modifier from Crucible and three Eververse boxes each week through gameplay and we've brought a Nightfall buff back. Now I've actually done a video covering all that which I will link in the video description if you do want to check it out in more detail. There will be a final stream to watch before the new age begins. Next week we're looking at armour and weapons. We talk about how they'll look and how they'll work. This stream will be Wednesday 28th of March so keep your calendars open motherfuckers! During the stream we checked in briefly with Lord Chak to see how his gig in the tower has changed. When a new age begins you'll find some other changes to how the Crucible experiences are curated on the director. To learn more about what's different and why we're checking in with designer Jeremy at I can't even pronounce that name, I'm just going to call him Jeremy Pie. Quoting Jer Pie right here. As we arrive at the Age of Triumph, we're making changes to the Crucible to improve matchmaking quality and allow more flexibility for how you will earn rewards. The number of active Crucible playlists are being reduced to help draw Guardians into a more focused set of battlegrounds. Each week, we we'll offer five core playlists in the centre row and one rotating playlist in the top rotator. Private matches will continue to main on the bottom row. Classic players who do not own a Rise of Iron will find their offering each week in the top rotator, which can feature zone control, combined arms, mayhem clash, mayhem rumble and doubles modes. Elimination will be available each week and will continue to be replaced with Charles of Osiris each weekend. To illustrate these changes, here's a preview of a week featuring Control, Supremacy, Elimination slash Trials, Salvage and Rumble. The following week will feature Clash, Rift, Elimination slash Trials, Skirmish and Rumble Supremacy. This method of consolidation and rotation allows us to continue featuring all of our most popular core modes while also keeping the matchmaking pools as full as possible to facilitate matchmaking quality. Bounties are also in for some revisions. Lord Shax will continue to offer his weekly bounties and will offer one for each of the 6v6 core modes offered each week. Daily Crucible bounties have been updated to be more inclusive of Guardians. Regardless of which mode they play, which subclass they favour, or if they have a fire team available, the Crucible Quartermaster will now offer five new bounties each week for different weapon archetypes, allowing you an opportunity to earn a variety of Crucible Iron Banner and Trials of Osiris weapons from year two and year three. And yes, there is a hand cannon bounty that can reward an Aya Saluna. Trials of Osiris bounties have all been updated and all of them are now available to be completed daily while Trials of Osiris is active. Silver and gold tier bounties will now feature gear and weapons from year 3. So pretty big changes to the reward system right there. Our goals with these changes are to ensure our Crucible audience enjoys quality matchmaking while still maintaining a large variety of modes. We also want to provide many paths to rewards in the Crucible. They then go on to showcase some of the Age of Triumph frequently asked questions which I'm sure you guys probably don't want to know but I'll showcase them on screen now. But that's basically it for the weekly update apart from what Deej leaves us with. Next week we're hosting a Guardian fashion show. It could very well be that we saved the best Destiny 1 armor for last. The team is certainly excited to unveil the new ornaments for your Guardian. We also have some explaining to do about those elemental primaries that are staged to make a comeback. We hope you're tuning. Age of Triumph is a celebration, it's a party in your honor. 
Something between a graduation and a reunion. I need to dig into my closet and find something fabulous to wear. See you Wednesday, Deej out. Okay, so is this actually a confirmation Elemental Primaries from the Vault Glass and the Quarters End are returning? It's definitely a tease, but you know, I'm in two minds about how they will return. I mean, I just have a weird feeling they ain't just gonna go out and hand Elemental Primaries, but I do hope I am fucking wrong. This third and final stream will showcase all what we are so desperate to know, but I feel a lot has changed from year one up until year three, and with Destiny's current state, introducing the massive range of elemental primaries into the game right now will have a massive effect on all things PvE. I think Bungie may be hiding something up their sleeves, which will counteract how dominant these weapons will be if dropped back into the loot pool as we remember them back in the day. But next Wednesday we find out, I'm also super curious to see the new exotic ornaments and the new raid gear. But guys that is it for another video, thanks for stopping by as always, subscribe if you're new around here, turn on the notifications so you don't miss a video and I will catch you on that next one.